All right, all new at 4.30, there appears to be a fourth COVID-19 vaccine. It's called Novavax. According to results from their phase three trial, it's over 90% effective against the virus and variants. And joining us live to talk about the new protection for families is Dr. Om Deshpande, internal medicine at Yale New Haven Hospital. Doctor, thank you for joining us this afternoon. How are you? Thanks, Shante. Great to be here. I'm well. All right, so let's get right to it. What is the difference between this vaccine and the other three out there right now? So we're incredibly fortunate to have this fourth vaccine. It's the, the main difference is just how it works. And it, whereas it, the Pfizer and Moderna are both based on mRNA technology, this one basically has a bunch of the spike proteins that uh, are from the virus. They're grown in a lab. They're in a little particle, and that particle is, is how the vaccine works. That particle is what gets injected, and then it triggers our immune system to create a really, really strong uh, immune response, just like uh, the Pfizer and Moderna's uh, vaccines do. So the, the fundamental difference between all these vaccines is how that spike protein fragment gets built in the body. In some cases, the body builds it itself after the vaccine is injected. That's with the mRNA ones. And with, uh, with the Novavax, it just comes in as a nanoparticle and then uh, stimulates our immune system. But it's very, very effective, as you just said. Okay, all right, that's good to know. I think a lot of people wanna know right now, is it effective against all the variants out there? Absolutely, so it, it, it does appear to be fair, very effective across the, vac the other variants, just like the, the Pfizer and Moderna mRNA vaccines. Um, it's very effective against the original type uh, and as well as the, the alpha variant, which was present in, in Britain, uh, the beta, the, the, what, we, what it does look like that the beta variant, which was seen in South Africa, um, th this vaccine is a little less effective uh, against that, type, that variant, um, but we thankfully don't have a whole lot of that circulating in this country at present. Um, and it, the data on the delta variant, which is going around in, in India, is also still not back yet. But what it does look like is that based on how it works and based on the initial data, it's just as effective against those variants um, as the mRNA vaccines are. Okay, and then lastly, when could it be available here in the US? Uh, well, the, you know, that's, that's the interesting question. Because we're so fortunate to have these three vaccines that are already approved, um, it's not clear exactly when Novavax, that, that company is going, to, is going to apply for authorization. So in, in many cases, it may make more sense for them to make that available in other countries, but I, I would expect it to be present and available here by the fall or towards the end of, the, of 2021 in case we do need it as a booster. Okay, Dr. Desh Pandey, thank you so much for your time and your insight this afternoon. We really appreciate it. Take care. Thanks so much for having me. Take care.